isang mapagpalang umaga sa inyo mga kapatid, mga kaibigan na nanonood sa araw na ito. Today we are celebrating the feast of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Kapag nabasa natin yung gospel for this day, sinasabi na Mama Mary went to haste, no? nagmamadaling pumunta to visit her cousin Elizabeth. As you know, as we know, mga kaibigan na kapag buntis ang isang tao, mahirap gumalaw. She needs a help from other people. At ito yung ginawa ng ating mahal na birhen. Pumunta siya para bisitahin at the same time to take care at tulungan rin ang kanyang kasi na si Elizabeth. And Elizabeth, as we know, she was a barren person. Hindi siya makaanak. And during the time of Jesus, yung hindi pagkakaroon ng anak, eh, isang curse. Even though sila ay isang mabuting tao bilang mag-asawa. And nakita natin, because of her faith, because Elizabeth and her husband, eh, they so much believe to the grace of God. That is why nagkaanak rin sila at their old age. We go back, guys, mga kaibigan sa ating Evangelio. Then we can see that presence is the least that we can give to others. Our availability and time. Mary's total availability availability to the Word of God gives us the sense of participation to the work of God. Nakita natin how the Blessed Mother submitted fully her ability to the plans and will of the Father. Her fiat to the plans of God place herself to whatever plans or whatever God wants to happen with her. Her yes made her participatory to the saving word of God. And there are three things that we need to remember. Una, the availability to listen. Kapag pinag-uusapan natin yung availability to listen, whenever we talk to other people, we always place ourselves in their shoes. So that hindi lang tayo ma-inform sa kanila or just get an information from them, but also to understand where they are coming from. Saan ba sila nang gagaling? Bakit this is the way they act? This is the way how they converse with us. It also involves full attention and not half-hearted attention. So listening, mga kaibigan, is not about our ears, but involve all our senses. So find time have, or be available to listen to whatever people is saying to us. Second thing to remember, the availability to encounter. It is more than meeting, but encountering the person. Sabi mga kaibigan ni Bishop Ambo, All of us possess the face of God. So tuwing nakikita natin ang ating kapwa-tao, sana nakikita natin ang mukha ng Diyos. Whenever we make ourselves available to others, we encounter God's presence in each one of us. Sana si Jesus yung makita natin in whatever encounter that we do. Sometimes because of many things that we are busy with, even the person in front of us, we fail to recognize his identity. So sana we see God, we see the goodness 
of every person. Even though sometimes that person ay makasalanan na tulad rin natin. The third thing to remember, availability to bear Christ to others. Mary is available that that is why she bore Christ in her womb. But more than this, she also brought other people even at the foot of the cross. To bear Christ to others means we need to listen and encounter God in our life. This experience of God will give us also the grace to be available to others. Ang tanong ko sa inyo ngayon na kaibigan, When was the last time that you spent leisure time with your family? When was the last time that you spent moment with your friend just for the reason of spending moment with them? When was the last time that your presence was really felt by the people around you? Kung hindi pa natin nagagawa yung mga bagay na ito, mga kaibigan, we can do it. Marami pa tayong time. And sana, just like the Blessed Virgin Mary, we humble enough to be available, to make our presence felt. And sana makita nila si Jesus whenever we encounter us. Amen. Have a good day and God bless everyone.